Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from asortofinterestinglife.com You're joining me on board good old narrowboat Tilly and this is another episode of Dan's Boaty Bits my super quick videos of random moments of boat life that don't fit in anywhere else Please do check out my channel for proper feature length documentary episodes and things like that Anyway, today I have got a very specialist piece of equipment to show you and well, we'll just go straight to it Yes, you've guessed it. It's a camera sellotaped and tied to a mop handle. And if you're already seeing where this video is going to go, then yes, the intention is that I'm going to go out there, pop this down under the waterline, and we'll have a look at the boat from below and see how rusty and what a terrible state she's in, <laughs> probably. Um, but basically, in the next couple of months, she's going to be out of the water for blacking and to have a little hole in the cooling system patched up. So I thought, before she's looking nice and spick and span and everything's all perfect, let's have a look how grimy and rusty she is. Hold your noses everybody, because here comes the cold water. Right, starting off at the stern and just having a little close-up here, you can see there's all sorts of little dots of rust and goodness knows what growing all over here. And here we're obviously looking at the rudder and I'm just moving the tiller there for an action shot of this underwater. I'm always amazed at just how big the rudder is and I think it's because you sort of don't really see or realise just how much of it goes under the boat up to the propeller that we're looking at here. And if you can see just above the propeller, there's a little sort of cut out rectangle and that leads up into the, just below the deck and above the engine and that's the weed hatch where if some Something gets wrapped around the propeller you can lift the weed hatch and get down to the propeller to obviously take whatever's um, stuck around it away and what you're seeing here this pipe that's attached to the bottom of the boat is the cooling system and this is where it runs out of the boat from the engine obviously inside below the deck and this is where the hole in the coolant system has been and it wasn't until last summer that I actually even knew that this pipe existed because I'd been told that she was raw water cooled by everybody up until that point so that's what needs uh, patching up somewhere or maybe the entire thing replacing we'll wait and see when she's out of the water for blacking but as you can see it is literally just a pipe hanging from the bottom of the boat basically as we have a look around more of the stern part here, you can see this is one of the rear anodes and these are placed on the boats to basically, hopefully, rust away rather than the actual boat itself rusting away. Um, and as you can see, there's all sorts of little nobbles and an awful lot of it disappearing. As we head up to the front, you can see a lot of these little sort of mushrooms of rust growing out everywhere. And here, of course, is obviously the front anode. And again, you can see just close up here how sort of nobbled and all over the place that's starting to degrade. And obviously you would much rather have something like that that you can replace go into absolute rack and ruin rather than the boat itself. Although it looks more like the boat is actually uh, turned into an organic being by the uh, amount of stuff that's growing on the front of here there. And really, I just wanted to put this video together because first of all, just for my own curiosity to see what it was looking like. And I will do another video after she's actually been blacked. But because that'll be happening over the summer, I might not actually be able to see anything at all. Now, I'm not sure exactly what this random little hoop on the very front of the bow is. I was told uh, by somebody that in various European canals, the boats get attached to chains underwater to be dragged through tunnels, which I'm not sure if that's true or not. I've no concept or idea, and I haven't actually done any research on that. But as we have another look just around the bow, I suppose I'll wrap things up and say thanks for watching. Check out my other videos for loads of random boat life stuff and proper documentaries. Feel free to add me personally on Facebook and Twitter or like the Facebook page for loads of photos and updates from life on the canal. And please do consider checking out my short books available for the Kindle. Just search for The Narrowboat Lad on Amazon or check all of the links to everything just mentioned in the description below. Until the next time, keep it boat worthy and farewell.